I just finished church. Well, I didn't finish church. I finished attending church. I did not lead the church sermon. Although I should. I think I'm a very out. I'm a very convincing person. I could be a pastor. Pastor stamp. I am rushing home right now to go put on something a little more athletic because there's Frisbee, like ultimate Frisbee going on. Do I look like I play Frisbee? No, but it's a great way to meet people and get outside of my comfort zone. By the way, I'm hands-free driving and recording. Do not think that I'm distracted at all. This is mounted, although this mount is pretty wobbly. I'm gonna go to Italy right now for a little brunch moment. Actually, it's, it's noon. This is lunch. So I just went home and changed. I had to put on my like Elle Woods trying to participate in a sport outfit. I have on this super cute little mini golf skirt. It has spandex underneath and my new balances and my little kitty cat bracelet. And those are all the people from church. I'm here at Highland Park Middle School. I'm not playing. I have a history of being hit by sporting objects. And look at that. That looks so dangerous for my own safety. I will not do that. I will sit over there where the rest of the people are who are just being spectators. Or I can just, I can just leave entirely and no one will know that I was here. The dogs are important. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. I am filming on my phone because I wasn't intending on... Oh, that's funny. So that girl walking, she's a Stampede member, actually. She was really nice, and she came up to me. She's like, are you funny stamps? I said, yes, ma'am. And now she's walking away. But I was not intending on vlogging, but I just wanted to share this really cute park that I like. It's kind of nestled and hidden here downtown. It's right next to these apartments, which I really like, called 555 Ross Avenue. So if you need help finding this, Google 555 Ross Avenue and go up to it. But it's this lovely park. It's usually too hot or freezing cold in Dallas, so I really like that. So this is the store that I just gush over. I love collecting random things, little trinkets. This is Wild Bill's Western store. They honestly have a great boot selection. I haven't had a new pair of cowboy boots in a while. I prefer to get like nice vintage stuff, but it's just such a nice day right now. It's not too hot. That's the Omni Hotel in the distance. I really like that place. I visited there back when I was in the chair force. Scratch proof. Scratch proof. Wow. Stingray. Whoa. Nice. That's I got it from a website called Something Sweet. I'm kind of back on my minimalism thing again, where I'm either buying items that are only secondhand or buying something that can go with everything. That website just nails it for me. Korean fashion, pretty much for the most part, not all of it, but the websites that I shop are just logo lists. There's not a single logo present anywhere. I love this type of fashion. I'm so comfortable right now. And I have on my New Balance 990s which are new-ish, not really. It takes me a long time to replace sneakers and staple items because I just get so attached to clothing and I just want to wear it forever and ever and ever until it falls apart. 
So I finally got myself something new, but, or something sweet, I should say, but I also got rid of a bunch of stuff. I went to Genesis Women's Shelter, gave them pretty much everything I have. I just feel so lucky and blessed and pampered. So I'm like, just give away stuff, why not? I started off very minimalistic and then I kind of fell off the bandwagon because I was like, this is just too hard. And then once you share that you're ever a part of something, whether it's minimalism or you know being vegan, for example, and then you change your mind, the peanut gallery starts whining about you. Like, oh, she said she was minimalist and now she has this. Like, I never said minimalism was about being cheap. Don't get it twisted. I'm always going to have Chanel on my feet somewhere or Chanel somewhere. Like skincare, Chanel. Lipstick, lip balm, Chanel. Like. You can be minimalistic and only have only designer items, in my opinion, because if you only have four or five items in your closet, you know, that still is being minimal, whatever. Anyway, so I went into minimalism and I stopped for that reason because I realized when my channel was starting, oh, people like to complain about things. I see, I see. That's too hard for me. There's no way I could be perfectly minimalist, but I have an upcoming video on that actually later this week on ways that I've been more minimalistic by making small efforts in my life, you know, not being so rigid. But, and I started buying more stuff and things got sent to me because you know, all these big brands just send us clothes all the time. They want us to do hauls and it's silly, you know, looking back five years ago and I would, you know, kill for free clothes, not kill, but. I would strangle somebody for a box of $2,000 worth of clothes, which looking back is really not a lot of money actually, but depending on where you're buying it from, it is if it's somewhere cheap, but I stopped doing hauls. It's just not right for me. I don't like promoting hauls. I did one recently in the winter time, but I think that was a good one because I literally had nothing and I wanted to promote good items from this company, but I'm not doing hauls anymore at this point. Maybe in the future, I don't know. I just don't like to do it. I'd rather do like a realistic outfit lookbook with things I already have. Like this is new, of course, but I had something just like it that was green, but then I donated it to the shelter, so I got a new one in black. I can wear it with like a little black mini skirt and some tennis shoes or boots or something. I just, I admire basic fashion at this point in my age. I've been circling for a minute trying to find parking. And by the way, I just wanna say I have very good directional skills and I'm proud of that. I am proud of the fact that I have never really needed Google Maps to get around and figure out where I'm going. But I think it's a very important life skill, knowing how to get around without having to Google for directions nonstop. Ooh, do I want a parallel park right now? There are cars coming. Shh, okay, let's do this fast. Ooh, that was a clean parallel park. Did you see that? I am such a good driver. I am not only really good with directions, but I'm good at parallel parking. I don't know why I just had a really big fear of parallel parking, parallel, parallel parking, because on my exam in California, they didn't make me do it. I don't know if that's normal or if he just felt bad for me because I didn't pass the first time, but there was no parallel parking. And I said, you know what? I'm tired of making excuses for myself. I have made myself late places because there will be plenty of spots to parallel park, but I just refused to because I didn't know how to. That was so clean. That was very easy. It was done swiftly. Also, I get scared when there's someone behind me waiting and this is a busy street. And I'm like, wait, because yeah, they're all looking at your parallel parking skills. But I did that. I did that. I, as the young kids say on TikTok, ate and left no crumbs. I, wow. That was such a good park. 